So today's video is gonna be based on how you can record your vocals professionally. Yo, welcome to another tutorial. My name is Jackson Jackabit. This is a music production guy. In case you're coming across this channel for the first time, we welcome you. Kindly click the red button subscription down below and ring the notification bell so that you miss any of this content in the nearest future. We do post amazing stops every Mondays and every Fridays. So without wasting more of our time, let's go straight into the video. If actually you didn't obey the principles at the first stage or in the beginning of your recording, then the final result is not gonna sound okay. What am I trying to say? There are some important tips, some things you need to take note, some things you need to be aware of during and before your recording. One is the environment that you are recording. A lot of people say that it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. Therefore, they record without using or considering some um, of some materials like your mic, your mic, your pop filter, considering some of them will not consider the environment. They don't know that some of the rooms or some of the studios or some of the places you record naturally have an echo. Uh, at times, it reflects back to the mic. So therefore, you should consider placing a good acoustic materials on your walls. Sometimes you can use a some, some level of um, foam density to place at your wall in some of our video ahead I'm gonna show you guys angle of reflection the base on the room where you are there is an angle angle of reflection whereby the the sun goes travels and as you know during our thesis the teachers that sounds do travels so any sound that is coming from your speaker as a point or as where it is going. So it is important that you try to understand that those places the sound is eating, you must have to take note about it. You must have to treat those places. You must have to put some acoustic materials in those places so that once the sound go straight into those, those points or those area, the sound will be retained. Not just like if the sound punch those wall, it will not be retained. So once you are able to do that, then um, you are already ready for a good record. Most times people do use curtains, very quality curtain. The surrounding environment to make sure that it retains the sound that comes to it so that is the first the second is trying to record with a very professional microphone i am not here actually to promote any brand of microphone but i'm trying to say there are better quality microphones out there that you can purchase most of them are highly expensive but if you can get one of them or any of them then it's gonna sound good because the secret of this lecture lies on the quality of microphone if you should record with a microphone that is being sold at ranges of two thousand three thousand dollars then you record with a microphone that is sold at about 200 or 300 dollars the qualities are not the same 
if you compare, they are not the same. So when you record with a very professional microphone, then you discover that you, you will be doing more of EQ, more of compressor, because right there in the microphone have that professional settings that made the vocal good. Some of the challenges that might happen during the record, the microphone might hide some of the dynamics. So it's very important that you should know and select a good microphone. We have something like AKG, Shure Mic, and so many and so many of them. So try and make a research and get a good microphone. So the thirdly, I want to emphasize before you start recording your vocal is consider the type of DAW you use. Most people don't use a good DAW. They discover that they want actually they want to record anywhere. So it's important that you record with a good professional software like Cubase, Logic, and any other ones that is professional. We have so many DAWs you can use. So the fourth I want to share with you guys before I go straight into this. Remember, I say this is a tips. Is is that consider the type of artist that you are recording. Most artists naturally have that deep voice. Most of them doesn't have that deep voice. Most of them need to come more closer to the mic before um, you can get a very good texture and a good dynamic. Most of them need to be far away because of the nature of their voice. So before you start a record, you must first of all know what is the vocal texture or quality of such artist, thereby running a sketch a sketch record like a sketch what i mean by a sketch is like okay freestyle do a freestyle section before we enter right into our main section this is going to give you a clue the type of artist whether it's a high range artist vocal or a mid-range artist vocal you know then once you know the type of artist then you know position the pop filter, the microphone based on the distance. Most artists doesn't know the difference between mic spacing. Most of them do, you know, at times want to kiss the mic during their recording. Most of them want to use the mic to perform as if they are on stage. You are you are not on stage. That's different between you recording on stage and you recording in the studio. So you must have to understand the distance of your recording. These are major important tips you should consider before your recording. So let's us go straight into what I have for you guys today. So what you have to do is once you set up this your Cubase and you're able to import your beat inside your Cubase, what you got to do is you create your audio channel. There are some vital mistakes some mixing engineers do, do make is that they always want to create their audio tracks on stereo. What do I mean? Like for instance, add audio tracks. They always want to leave it on stereo, which is very, very wrong. It is important that you always keep it on mono. On mono, then you do a okay. So right there, I've already assigned an audio track which I placed on mono. Then there is very important tips I want to say. Once you want to record any artist, don't add any effect don't add any compressor or something that you know is gonna boost the vocals or whatever you know try everything to record the artist playing 
like let the raw voice be recorded playing. Once you record the artist playing, you will be able to understand some mistakes. You know, at times when you place auto tune in a voice, you know, it will actually curtail the good texture of the artist. Just like someone singing a song without an instrument, you know, it sounds raw. So let it be that raw into the beat that is recording. Then once it's done, you now start adding your effect and all of that. It makes you to detect where the vocal goes off and where it goes bad and the artists have to repeat those sections and repeat those sections to have a good professional record. Actually, this video is not going to be long, but I just try to make sure I put you up on the most important tips and guide you through so that once you are ready to do your recording professionally, you should first of all have those tips at the back of your mind so that once you are done that you won't be running extra scatter and be saying the why am I not recording professionally so once you have assigned your audio tracks you try to duplicate see I'm trying to duplicate it because you are not going to use just one track just to record the whole song at least you should duplicate once you're, you're done with it then you should duplicate again and again so this is uh, a very important tips i want you guys to take note of and start recording professionally i'm coming to the end of this tutorial remember i remain your humble producer jacoby jackson for those that are tuning in kindly subscribe don't forget to subscribe click the notification bell and give us a like know that we always post amazing stops every mondays and every fridays in case you have any question or anything pertaining to productions you want me to mix your songs you want customized beat try to write on an email or use the whatsapp line on the description to message me and we go straight to what you need so thank you for staying back in this channel i love you i love you all thanks